Clownfish are an example of a species that can change sex during their lifetime. All clownfish are born males. A clownfish group consists of a dominant male and female and zero to four juvenile males. So where did the female come from in the group? When the female dies, the dominant male changes sex to become the dominant female and one of the juveniles becomes the dominant male. Clownfish are hermaphrodites, meaning they have both male and female reproductive organs. In terms of what's going on biologically in the clownfish, apparently the dominant male has functioning testes and some latent cells that can become ovaries under the right conditions. Once the female dies, the testes in the dominant male degenerate and ovaries form from the latent ovarian cells. There are about 30 different species, with different colors and patterns. The most well-known species is probably the orange clownfish, which was made famous by the movie Finding Nemo. Clownfish are omnivores, eating both plankton and small food.